using um, the same brush, so you're still using your round number two. Just make sure your black is rinsed out of it really good. And I'm going to load it up with white paint. And I start from the left side and go right because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, switch it so you're not dragging your arm and hand across the board. So I'll count them again for you so you guys know how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten. Okay. So, and again, staggering um, just to be, you know, visually more pleasing to the eye. You don't want them to all be perfectly spaced apart. You want to have some that are close together, some that are a little more spread out, some a little skinnier, some a little fatter. So we don't want all the same, all right? So it doesn't matter if you've still got some wet paint here. We're just going to go right over top of that. So I'm going to start over here. And again, this is a little bit thicker. So when I'm going up and down, I'm kind of spreading it out a little bit when I do that, just to get that thickness. So if you tend to be heavy handed, you will like this part because you get to be heavy handed and you're not trying to make skinny little lines. So the key is to have plenty of white paint on your brush while you're doing this. Oops. And it is okay, that happened because my canvas shifted on me, but these do not need to be perfectly straight either. It's okay for these birch trees to have a little bit of like wobbly um, knots and stuff in them on the side, so that's perfectly fine. You do want to make sure that you carry that white paint over your top edge. If you stop right here and don't carry it over, it'll look like it has a little border across the top of your painting. So you want to go all the way top to bottom and then you'll just repeat. And we're going to do the white all the way across and then we will come back and add in our little squiggle lines and all the rough parts that make it look like a birch tree. So go ahead and get started with your white. I'll turn um, the music back on and there's most of these are pretty much just straight up and down. I have a few, maybe just two, that have the um, angles in them, the extra branches like we did in our background tree. So if you want to pull a couple out to where they have some branches that are overlapping the others, you can do that as well. So apparently I uh, titled my <laughs> I titled my video and uh, I auto corrected it and put a T C H instead oh, no. of um birch. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll give you guys a little, I'm going to turn you around really quick so you can see the rest of the room painting. Wave if you guys want to. <laughs> They're looking really cool so far. This is a super fun abstract painting to do. So we did our background trees and now we're adding our birch trees on. That'll teach me to try to do something fast without spell checking. So if you're just joining us, yes, I typed that wrong. I cannot edit it while we are live. So I'm going to try to go down in the comments here from my phone. That's not going to work. No, I don't want you to do that. Um, <laughs> just to let you guys know. So what's everybody else doing tonight? If you're not here painting, you can comment. Let me know what you're doing. <laughs> All right. So for those of you wondering, I I have added in the comments what that was supposed to be. That's boring too. <laughs> now we got to get our music back on. I'll have to rewind it a little. There we go. Is that good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, stop doing that. I'm going to pop over here so I can see your guys' comment. If you guys get a little gray in your birch trees, that's fine too because we're going to be adding all that detailing. There's going to be a little bit of gray in there anyways.
zoom you guys in just a little. key is to have plenty of white paint so that you can make Does anyone have any song requests? Yell them out if you have them. I'll add them to our queue here. What type of music you guys like? I was in Nashville, That's so right. now we're like trying to figure out when we're going to go see it. I'm dying to see it. Has anybody else seen Bohemian Rhapsody yet? It was good. Was it? I cannot wait. I'm so excited.
I love buffalo plaid. Did you guys see my earrings? Look at my earrings. I got them at the conference this weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at the conference and was also just you know it was like really inspiring and it is so you know I have like this group of uh, creative business friends we've never met we're all in a um, group together and we met for the first time in Nashville this weekend and it was like we'd known each other forever you would have never known that we hadn't met in person so it was really cool to get to hang out with them all weekend and share lots of ideas. Do you guys know um, Tamara Bennett? She owns the Southern Adornments, who does the door hangers. She's one of my um, friends, and we're going to start collaborating and doing some live videos together, teaching you guys stuff online on our Facebook pages. So that'll be something fun coming up. So I'm just going back in anywhere it may be a little thin. I'm just adding a little bit more white if you can still see your colors behind it. If it picks up a little gray, like I said, that doesn't matter. And you can always come back in and add more trees after we start adding the details here. Bonnie, I did not show the beginning of the painting. I just jumped on just to show them the trees. So that's just some white, yellow, orange, red transitions in the background. And then we did some blue and black <coughs> around the side. you guys for just a second and have you look up here pause the music so to do the I'm gonna switch these so you guys can see a little bit better let me reposition my camera for this part okay Pamela you can see okay okay so for all our little notches and lines and all the crazy stuff that makes birch trees look like birch trees. You kind of have to like let all that OCD type A personality go away <laughs> because this is going to be messy and it's going to, I want, I, all of you took a picture on your phone, right? Okay, everyone grab your phone, open up that picture and I want you to zoom in. I want you to zoom into the painting so you can see up close how messy these lines are. None of them are perfectly straight. Some have white mixed in them. Some are really solid black. So they're like scruffy looking paintbrush strokes. <coughs> so I'm going to use the same brush we were using for our white. Just rinse it and just get black on your round brush. So I tend to move quickly when I'm doing this because it doesn't allow me to overthink it. So what I recommend doing is getting a couple um, black spots on a tree and then moving on to the next. You can always come back and add more to it, but it's going to stop you from overworking your tree. So again, I start at the top and the left, and I'm holding it pretty close up here. And I want to come, when you're doing the lines, most of them are going to be along the edge of the, um, the trees. And then you have a couple kind of like inside, like little messy little spots. They're going to kind of act as the knots in the trees. So I'm just going to pull down just a little bit here. And for once, I don't want it to be nice and solid. I want it to be where it kind of looks scruffy. You know what I mean? Like the bristles kind of drag a little bit. So I don't have a ton of paint in there, but I'm just kind of dancing around. Again, you can see where it's grabbing some of my wet uh, white paint which I'm fine with. So I'm almost holding the brush flush with this and just kind of dragging it along. Does that make sense? And then you'll have a couple, pick up just a little bit more paint and then maybe just come in with a couple little horizontal spots here and there. Maybe a little messy spot to kind of act 
as a knot in the tree. So I'm just kind of using my brush and just kind of pushing down and dragging. Does that make sense? So really messy. Um, I don't know that you call that a certain technique, but that's how I do my brush <coughs> trees. So, so start around your edges and then you can decide how much you kind of want to pull in and bounce back and forth. So you don't want to go all the way down one side. You want to keep bouncing back and forth and you don't want to get too much black in there. So bounce from one tree to the next so you don't over overdo it. A couple little horizontal lines here and there it can kind of pull from the sides just a little bit. So I'm going to turn the music back on while you guys work on that part. If you get too much black in there, don't try to fix it while it's wet. Just let it be, come back, you can add some white to it later. So I'm going to zoom you guys back in a little bit. Thank you. 
feel like it looks too empty there, you can add some more in. So if you guys are watching live, shoot me a comment because I can't tell if Facebook kicked us off or not because all the numbers went away and I don't know if you guys are still there. And if you're not, I may jump back on here. Yeah, once you guys get a couple of your trees done, I would I would definitely step back from it and look yeah. at it from further away where, where it's actually going to be like hanging on your wall so you get a better idea of what that's going to look like. I think they're beyond help. 